As I showed in a previous video, you should use templates wherever possible to keep your items and triggers in one place and reuse them for your hosts. For example, all your servers running Linux should be assigned the template OS Linux that provides standard items and triggers. However, not all Linux hosts are of the same kind. For one host, a CPU load of two may be normal, but not for another. Let me show you how to customize trigger thresholds using so-called user macros. Zebex provides a large number of macros by default. Most of them are only valid in a certain context. For example, the date macro can be used in notification messages. A macro I often use in alert emails is ask.history that automatically tells me the state of an escalation. You are not limited to these macros, but you can invent your own. It's time for an example. Let's take a look at the template OS Linux and let's see the triggers. One of the triggers fires if the number of processes exceeds 300. This is usually a decent value, but some of your Linux servers may run 400 processes and you will get an alert every now and then. So let's customize the threshold. I'm editing this trigger and will replace 300 by a user macro I call $max underscore proc. Note that user macros need to start with a dollar sign. The user macro is not defined though, so this trigger can't work yet. Let's edit the template. I go to the Macros tab and here I can add my own user macros. I'm setting $MaxProc to 300 as a default. Add this macro and save the template. So now the trigger isn't doing anything different than before. The macro is set to 300 and the trigger will use that value. But on the Zevix server I don't want the trigger to fire unless there are more than 500 processes. So I edit the host, go to the Macros tab, and now I can override the default I set to the template. Let's set the macro to 500. Using and overriding user macros can be confusing because Zebex doesn't show which value applies. The order in which Zebex tries to find your macro is as follows. First, it searches for a macro definition at the host. Then it looks for the macro in the template and all linked parent templates. And finally, it looks for global macro definitions. But you're not limited to using macros for triggers. They are also good for use in parameters of items. As you see, there is an item computing the checksum of the etc passwd file. If you wanted to customize the name of the file, you could use another host macro and use that as a parameter. For example, $password underscore file. This is useful for database servers running on different ports per host, or for checking log files that are located in different file system paths on different hosts. That concludes this video. You have learned that Zebex comes with a large set of macros and that you can also define your own macros. I showed you how to define macros at the template level, how to use them in triggers and items, and how to override the template macros on the host level.